Hey everybody, Armand here, Cheese Skills. Welcome to our podcast. And today we are talking about accelerating our progress through 24 hour training. Progress, right? So um, this concept of 24 hour training was introduced to me by a teacher who looked at me at a certain point and he said, Arma, I think you are a 24 hour guy. And I was like, okay, okay. What does that mean? Yeah. So we're gonna explore that now. So, and what did he mean with the 24 hour guy? He meant that taking a theme out of the practice and taking that into the day and uh, training that around the clock. So, um, and that made a lot, lot, lot of difference. Uh, we're talking 24 hour, I mean, uh, that we're gonna talk about that, how that actually still is a 24 hour training, although you're even sleeping or at work. But um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what he meant by that. Mm. So can you give us an example? What kind of team did you, are you talking about? Bringing? Sure, sure. I mean, there's many themes, of course. Yeah. There can be something in the physical, there can be something being in the energetic training, it can be in the mental training, um, many approaches. Uh, but let's start with a very simple one. Let's start with the physical. So let's say your training standing practice. You've been doing that for a while. Um, you're, you're opening the spine, you're working on alignment, you're working on uh, structure, you're working on fine-tuning everything. Let's just take the example of alignment, the alignment of the spine, the openness of the spine, and take that as a theme and you would say, okay, so everywhere I go throughout my day, after my practice, starting in the morning with your routine, then taking that out of a routine into your day and everywhere you go, you take that alignment with you. Obviously, you can also do that while sitting. Um, it doesn't mean you have to stand. It's like mm -hmm. our mom was talking about standing practice. No, w when I'm sitting right now, I'm totally aware of my spine. This is because I did that training. And yeah. sitting, standing, that doesn't matter too much for what we're trying to achieve here. We're just creating a very strong link and a very strong anchor for our awareness in the spine. And this is gonna have a profound effect on your training because you're going from training maybe to, you know, from like 20 minutes standing in the morning to no, we're gonna take that concept for a couple of weeks into the training and this is gonna grow like crazy. Of yeah. course it's gonna be, uh, and it's a beautiful adventure and that's always yeah. a nice thing to talk about. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I've, of course I've been practicing this as well, but uh, yeah. it was just, uh, was it last week? Last week, I, I, I thought, okay, I had this meeting and um, I still I, I have a, a second job for a couple of hours working for public health. So I, w I was going to a meeting and I was not very much looking forward to it. It was right. kind of those meetings that you think, oh, uh, long session, a uh, lot of people um, in, a, in a room that... I was like, mm, okay, be very aware of where I was going to sit. And uh, so in the morning I did all my routines sure. and I did a lot of the, okay, stretching and standing. So I, I was very conscious of how I was going into that room. Yes. And yes. <laughs> while I was going into the room, I was very particular about I was in time so I could choose where to sit and I would sit in a not with my back to to the door and um, where I could see everyone so sure yeah strategic strategic yeah I was very strategic about good, it good. and then I sat down and I I didn't even realize up front that wow these chairs are awful right. <laughs> in this and I and and because I was doing this theme from okay I want to sit upright I want to have my spine nicely open I want to if I'm in this meeting uh, I want to be uh, as open and and um, have a good contribution to this meeting sure and the only way of sitting upright was sitting completely at the front of the seat. <laughs> right on the edge, right? On the edge. Yes, yes. So 
when the other people came in, they sit down and they were leaning backwards. And so this was of one of these chairs that you sort of roll back and yeah. lean? And or? Yeah. Okay. And, and people were trying to find a posture where they were comfortable, at, but these chairs are just off. Right. So, um, and I was sitting there and I was quiet and I was sitting there and, and these people around me, they came in and they sit down and they were kind of in, well, not in their best because of this posture. Sure, sure. And then <laughs> they were looking at me and some people are, were actually copying me and were also sitting on the edge and now upright wow. as well as yeah. they could yeah um but then there's the training coming in i can sit like that for hours sure. I, I mean that's practicing for years at end but for a lot of people who are not yeah in this yeah, yeah, practice yeah. very hard yeah it's hard to sit sure. upright and have your spine nicely open and be very aware of it so what I was, I was just observing and I was looking around and I could see people trying to and then falling backwards. Yes. Yeah. Kind yep. of moving back. And what does that, that do with and their what, states, yeah. right? It influences their state immediately yeah. and becomes more heavy and becomes more, yeah. you know, less positive, I guess, less focused. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. So what happened? The first, first part of the session was quite all right. Yeah. Um, but then when it progressed, it got kind of blurry and I was like, oh, do I still want to be in this meeting? Right. Yeah. Um, and you decided no. <laughs> and I decided not to. Well, this is a big thing for me, but taking that theme into the next step, I was like, mm -hmm. so there was a, a break and, and there was another hour of this. But there was also another, uh, that, that I got a call and there was actually something else going on and um, I kind of had the choice to sure. stay or to go and I decided not to stay. And actually that was a good thing <laughs> because there was nothing going on Beautiful. in this meeting. Yeah. So that was, for me, there were a lot of learning points there. Absolutely, and uh, you know the the, the link to, uh, between the openness of the spine and the influence that has on your state, on your focus, on your you, you said the word stillness. Yeah. You were sitting there, focused and, uh, and aware. This is this is everything. You know, this yeah. is really, really, really something that uh, once you start imp applying this or implying this in your day, um, and you do that for a couple of weeks, everything starts to change. You, you, because it, it not only affects you, you will also feel it affects other people. It's like yeah. what you said, people might start um, uh, in, I would say mirroring you. Yeah. They feel a certain uh, openness, a certain lightness around you yeah. uh, that they uh, would like to copy because you know, I think a lot of people um, are sensitive for that and want to feel that way as well. Uh, because you, 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 you're, you're way more effective in this way. I mean, your, your mental body, your astral body, your, 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 your physical center, your uh, lower dungeon, it's all aligned. Yeah. And this is where a lot of power comes from. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, so it's amazing. And, uh, for, so for me, this was a win situation. I, I got it right. But there were so many other times yep. where I didn't get it. Where I start, yeah, where I started out with that kind of okay, I did my routine. I'm taking it with me. I'm I'm gonna be centered and still. And I'm gonna have this uh, a, a good contribution to this meeting, and then you're kind of getting into the room. Maybe you're a little bit later. You don't have that great precision. Uh, there is other energies in the room that kind of pull you back yep. or think about birthday parties. They have the tendency also to have people drinking alcohol sure. uh, and having that kind of influencing their state influ and then yeah. and see that, the changes happening. Yeah. And, and then sometimes when, when you're not so aware of it, you might fall back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where, well, well, this is where your this learning is where starts. Learning. This is where yeah. the training starts. 
how long does it take before you realize, wait a minute, something's changed in my spine and I'm, you know, there's a situation I'm in, it's, in, it's, in, it's, it's influencing you in this way that you sort of start losing that connection. Ah, now the training starts yeah. really, you know, because now you say, hmm, yeah. go back, open the spine again as good as you can. And this is where you really start uh, uh, training the muscle. It's coming yeah. back. It's coming back. The relationship between standing practice uh, and this is uh, something that might not be that obvious for uh, for when you're just starting with this. But this is, I guess, you know, you have to really look at why are you doing all this internal training mm. and what do you hope to get out of it? Well, it's, it's the conscious body control throughout the day that is going to influence your state and your state is going to determine the choices that you make and the decisions that you make and um, how effective you are in situations. So you could say the relationship between your standing practices in the morning and taking this approach with you into the day is going to determine if you are going to be successful or not in yeah. your life, whatever that means, right? But you as an effective human being. So it's, uh, this is something that is so important. Um, it, it's it's everything, yeah. And it's we're talking a lot about body conscious now. Sure. But um, it really gets interesting when you're talking about chi, when you're Absolutely. talking about okay, going into um, the energy to, body, energy right. body, and you feel that you're kind of you're you're in a different um, frequency. You're frequency, tuned in into yeah. a totally different frequency, yeah. And yeah. with that. Your um, you influence the room much more. It Absolutely. has a lot more impact um, when you're in that state. And that's beautiful. So think about that, right? So let's say you've been doing your physical thing for a while, you and and you you take that with you uh, throughout the day. It this means it's cre it creeps in your subconscious as well. So that's that's being. Um, sort of digested in your sleep so that when you wake up there's 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 just more awareness there's a strong link there's a strong anchor to that you've been doing that for a while and you you notice that there's a certain constant awareness around this the next stage you could say it could be is like you focus like you say on the energy field around you right your energy body and you take that awareness with you also in situations with other people in traffic wherever you are and now what happens yeah. now what happens it's it's fantastic yeah. you know so instead of being that like i said in the beginning like just a little part of your day and then <coughs> you just go in your day no make a very conscious decision to take that state with you you go after your training you go into the shower you take it with you you do, you do your breakfast you hop on the subway you uh, come come into the office or whatever it is you're doing um, or you're running or you're walking the dog you're talking to your mom um, you're going into a birthday party um, take this approach with you and what changes it's yeah. it's unbelievable yeah. it you you, uh, you experience everything from a much deeper uh, awareness I mean the physical connection is already very still like Absolutely. you said and focused when you when you go into the energy body it, it it softens even so there's more relaxation there's a deeper kind of stillness is that even possible yes it is <laughs> just try it yeah there's a deeper level of focus and now it's gonna have a different effect on people as well yeah. so and so whenever you're in the conversation you know uh, you're doing anything keep reminding yourself to being in that state sometimes you might get out again well this is really nice uh, study materials like why did that happen what happened is it more tiredness remember in the beginning this can take whatever theme you're taking this is going to cost a little bit of extra energy absolutely. as well absolutely right? because you know and sometimes yeah. you're in a situation and Afterwards, you're more like, oh man, I forgot all about it. Yeah, which is fine. And Don't be is, hard yeah, on yourself, yeah. here, right? You're learning. And, so. and then sometimes, and especially when you're in a hard situation where you're totally sucked dry, as they call it. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and, the, and you're thinking, oh, where did my energy go? Where, what, where was I? And and yeah, that happens. And that's that's where it where you your learning starts absolutely so. that that's where you really start pumping this muscle yeah. and it's gonna just change your life yeah 
it's, it's really, this, this is very profound. So I was very glad for this advice. It became a very, uh, it's also, you know, uh, sorry, I was thinking about something. Some people asked me, so about the training, how can I do effective training, etc. I, I, and then, of course, we're looking at, you know, your morning ritual, which is fine. You, you, need, you need to reserve some time for that or your evening practice, whatever you're doing. But when I, when I bring this in, they're like, oh, wait a minute, I can train all the time. I'm yeah. like, yeah, but this is what it's for, you know? It's, it's internal training. It's there to transform you, to, to influence your state and become more effective as a person, more still, more aware, more mindful. This is all mindfulness training, really. You know, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're focusing on a specific theme, taking that with you and learn from that. You lose it, you come back again. You lose it, you come back again. And at a certain point, there will be a very, very strong connection. It's very close in your awareness. You can choose. You can also think about mental themes, you know, mental trainings, like constant mindfulness about your yeah. thoughts, right? It's like really focusing on this, this, this observing state in every conversation that you have, in every situation you're in, and it's going to be different. You're, yeah. you, and one, one important thing, you're, you also mentioned that, you're going to lose less energy this way. Mm. In the beginning, it's going to take a little bit extra energy because it takes a little bit of effort to, to, to do that. But think about being focused on the energy body throughout the day, yeah. right? And of course, there's going to be intervals. You're going to lose a little bit, come back again. This is going to boost energy. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. You're, going to be, you're coming out of a meeting and you're like, I don't feel drained. I feel sort of refreshed, which yeah. is, but, and I like that thing as well. It's becoming a radar also to get out of certain situations, yeah. right? And this is a very important one. I think this is one that we're going to explore in a future podcasts as well. These, these yeah. themes are very important, just how to apply this training in your daily life, but knowing when is enough, you know, yeah. you, you, your energy becomes a radar, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, I mean, no, it's, I'm getting it's out also of here. something, um, all the exercises that, that, um, well, the Qigong exercises, actually the ones that we have in our course, the Core Essentials course, Qigong yeah. course. We have a lot of these exercises. And even when you're, even when I'm in the meeting, I can do like a, a kind of for myself, slow, poor breathing to release. To release in the moment. In the moment. So it's... Um, it's also really doing the exercises sometimes exactly. Exactly. or when you come in. And, it, and if it's hard to do that with other people around you, then you just walk and go to the toilet for a minute and then you kind of... Uh, scream. <laughs> scream. Ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> that might Maybe. be a good release. A good release. <laughs> yeah. No, but you, yeah. can do, you, can, you can do this everywhere. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you, you learn the releasing methods and then, yeah. you know, it's... it's, it's uh, yeah, you can release... Yeah. pretty much everything uh, while you go. And I yeah. think that's what the Qigong is really about. It's, it's, not, it's not just a practice to do... For the sake of practice. For the sake of practice. No. It's practice so you become more aware of yourself, be more connected, um, have the stillness with you, and then, you know, um, yeah. really accelerate um, as a person. Absolutely. Yeah. The mindfulness, everything, yeah. the choice in the moment, yeah. you know, uh, is uh, is incredible. Yeah. yeah so, uh, like Didi said, you know, there's a, the, in the core essential Qigong course. There's a lot of these exercises that you can uh, can explore and take with you. Um, you know, it's it's just great fun. So uh, check that one yeah. out. Yeah. You can see a link in the description if you're curious. And um, well, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Thanks for, Thank listening. for listening. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs>